Hello Magical Butterflies. This is X Tina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be general. This can apply to all types of love connections. Please use your own discernment when listening and watching this video and only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this video does resonate with you, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in booking a personal guidance reading or guidance session, they are available for purchase in my Etsy shop. If you are interested in purchasing the decks I created and the music deck that I co-created with my soul sister, Samantha Rodman, if you are in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, please message me and I will send you a special ordering link. My Instagram, my Facebook, my blog website, my Patreon, and my donation links are listed below. Let's get into the theme in love for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, just to see what is coming. The deck I'm going to be using is Crystal Angels Oracles. If for any reason I forget to mention a deck I'm using, they will be listed in the description box below. So the theme in love. We have Clear Quartz, let, your, let Yourself Feel All Your Emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. Malachite, prosperity. There is a positive shift in your flow of divine support. And Sugalite, own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. So what I'm getting is that it's time to be in your feelings when it comes to this love connection, whether you are with this person in separation or trying to manifest a new person, you have prosperity that's coming in. There's something that is going to be shifting that will show you that the flow of divine support that you have is going to help you manifest what you want, but you have to be in your own divine power and you have to put yourself first. You have to transform out of the people-pleasing energy and only do things for yourself that you truly want to and not do things out of obligation. Topaz, forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So forgiveness might be needed, whether you need to forgive someone from the past so you can just move on or forgive someone from the past because you would like a second chance with them. Holding on to what happened in the past is not going to help you move forward and it is not going to help this flow of divine support to come in. Forgiving doesn't excuse the behavior. What it does is it frees you from being stuck. And the final message for theme is Angelite. Spiritual or religious community Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. So your, your soul tribe, your spirit family is what needs to come in right now. You need to be around people who have your highest and greatest good at heart. And that will help you build friendships and help you have the support that you need. And will really help you get into your feelings to help you give this forgiveness if that's something you need to do. And it will help this prosperity come in and it will help you stay in your power by putting yourself first. That is what I have for this section of your reading. The next section is going to be the overall energy of your connection. Now this will be the overall energy of your connection collectively for the two of you. The deck I'm going to be using is a deck I created it's called Butterfly Messages from Spirit. You have whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. Trust. And remember the lessons you learned 
taught you the knowledge to grow manifestation so if you would like this love connection to manifest in your life you have to trust that whatever is meant for you will never pass you by and always remember you learned lessons from this connection if this is someone from the past you want to reconnect with or you just have learned lessons from past love experiences your childhood whatever it is to get you to see your value to see your worth and to get you to move forward so you can manifest and call in this love stay open and see the third eye chakra so in order for you to manifest and trust you have to have your third eye chakra open and balanced so if you have problems listening to your intuition or your person does a guided meditation uh, for the third eye chakra will help using the crystal amethyst can also help as well because amethyst really helps um, heighten the intuition speak your your truth the throat chakra so for some communication is an issue in this connection speaking your truth and making sure the throat chakra is open and balanced blue crystals are always a good crystal to use with the throat chakra lapis lazuli levodorite and sodalite are the ones that are coming to me but of course use any crystal that you feel guided to use and the overall energy for this connection is to focus on the present stay present in the moment don't think about the past anymore put it to rest put it to bed close the door and don't think too much into the future trust your intuition trust that if this connection is meant to come back around it will because remember whatever is meant for you will never pass you by and don't get attached to outcomes have expectations or be committed to any type of timelines and remember your beliefs are what you believe to be true so what you believe to be true is what will help you manifest and get your thoughts in alignment so always make sure your thoughts are positive optimistic and they match your vibration let's get into your person so this is the person you're connecting with this could be a person you're with someone from your past or a new person you're trying to call in the deck I'll be using for that is the black moon astrology so this will be their current headspace and their current heart space when it comes to you and the connection you have Jupiter number seven abundance moon soul number two and two is about partnerships and balance and seven plus two equals a nine so there is a cycle ending with your person and void of course moon number 52 which equals an eight missing so what has once been missing or lost is now being illuminated to your person and they are now ready to bring this abundance into their life when it comes to you and the connection you are on the forefront of their mind if you are together with them or in separation but if the two of you have not met yet in the, the physical, they are definitely thinking about this future person that they are going to connect with. Jupiter return benefits 49, which equals a 12 and 12 equals a three. And you have the fifth house creativity number 29, which equals an 11 and 11 is the twin flame number. It's the number of new beginnings and it also equals a two. So you have another number two so what I'm getting is that your person sees the benefit of having a life partner someone to grow old with a true having a true love and they're getting creative to remove their mask and to call in this love connection in the physical in their heart space they're in the sixth house routine number 30 which equals a three the body first house number 25 which equals a seven and Aries number 13 which equals a four I am so you could be dealing with an Aries Sun Moon rising Venus or Aries could be coming through because Sagittarius is a fire sign but of course take it as it resonates with this being general so your person is in their passion in their heart their feelings they know in their body th the love is there and it's it's ready to be given and they are kind of balancing their routine because they're getting ready to have 
a, a relationship in their life if they've been single for some time. So overall, your person is escaping from what no longer serves them because 36 equals a nine, so there's a cycle closing. And your person is currently going through reinvention with the Mercury retrograde, and we currently are in Mercury in retrograde as I'm recording this. So if you are listening to this during October, 13, um, October 14th through November 3rd, this is a special message for you that your person is going to use this Mercury in retrograde period or whatever Mercury in retrograde period happens when you are listening to this, if you're listening to this in the future, they're going to reinvent themselves so they can be more authentic and go after what they want in love. Very beautiful. The next section is going to be what is being released or what is releasing or what needs to be released in this love connection. The deck I'm going to be using is What's the Tea by Fire Witch Tarot. Always partying, dust it off, and grudge holder. Okay, what I'm getting is that somebody has been in a partying way, going out, doing fun things with their friends, maybe drinking too much, staying out too late, but dust it off is showing me that the responsibility, the thinking about um, being more responsible and not partying so much um, is coming because you're whoever has been drinking a lot is realizing that they're drinking to mask their pain and they don't want to hold a grudge anymore towards things from the past. So they might be dusting off the, well, I'm seeing a water bottle, so maybe like being more of sober mind so they can really just release what has been keeping them stuck to move forward. That's not going to apply to everyone. That's for specific few of you. Creativity Muncher steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. Hustling, making it rain, focusing on money, getting it, and scarcity tax tactics. So for some, what has been kind of um, having like energy vampires or people just draining your energy, wasting your time, that is being replaced because that has been keeping you from hustling, making the money, being in your prosperous energy of just calling in what you want. And that was really just based on fear because you were afraid to move forward. And maybe if you resonated with the first message that came through, that the drinking was definitely bringing in the scarcity tactics but now you're ready to move forward and get rid of this energy. Uninterested is the next one with tripping on you and screenshots getting evidence proof facts. So you're, this energy of uninterested means you're uninterested on the wasting the time of going on social media, seeing what this person's doing or they're doing it to you tripping over every little post that you see and if you see your person pictured with other people or them seeing you pictured with other people this is an uninterested energy this is being released because now the two of you want to just put the focus on coming back together or meeting for the first time and it's also going to release the stalker energy of watching each other from afar being obsessed constantly wanting to know what the other person's doing, being um, overly focused on what they're doing, who they're with. Even if you're spying through general and personal readings, you're starting to see it doesn't really help the situation. So this energy is being released for this love connection. All right, so that is what I have for this. The next section is going to be what is shifting or what needs to shift or what will be shifting in this love connection. The deck I'll be using is Infinity Oracle by Fire Witch Tarot. Okay, we have Spirit Guides. No fucks given. I like that one. And... 
the soul calling life purpose. So your spirit guides are showing you what your soul calling is, what your life purpose is, and you are having no fucks given in the sense where you are just moving forward, shifting out of what's been keeping you stuck, not caring what anyone else thinks, you're getting rid of the people pleasing energy and you are just moving forward following the calling. You're ready to go through the path less traveled, the unknown journey. You're not afraid because you know like if any type of obstacle, conflict, challenge gets thrown in your way, it is nothing you can't handle in your arms chosen so you and your person have chosen each other in the 5d and you both are chained up in a sense where the other one is the person for you you are the person for them and you don't want anyone else you both have um, been celibate for some time because you want the next time you have sex to be spiritual and have really good meaning and in a sense, you want to dominate each other. I don't know why I'm feeling 50 shades of gray right there. That could be for someone. And you're both listening to a higher guidance. So that's shifting out of ego. And you want to have access to each other. So you are trusting in divine timing by embracing the light. And you know everything is going to come into fruition in perfect timing because you both are trusting in divine timing. And how long it may take no longer bothers you because you have released that energy. So that is very beautiful energy for what is shifting. Next section is going to be guidance, advice, what you need to know, and any action you might be guided to take either in this connection as well as on your own personal journey of self. And the deck I'll be using for this is the Self-Empowerment Oracle. Visualize a new reality. Anything is possible. Take some time to rest and meditate. And be, be courageous and set strong boundaries. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. So what I'm getting from these cards is that your thoughts create your reality. So what do you want to create? What type of life do you want to live? Anything is possible if you believe. And you may be guided to take some time to rest and meditate. Take some time for yourself if you're feeling tired or drained. Maybe even have a day to yourself where you just kind of detach from the world and just have a you day meditating, journaling, connecting with nature. And you have to be courageous and take a step forward and you have to set boundaries in your life because if you don't set boundaries in your life, people are going to take advantage of you and walk all over you. And throughout your life, you will always get signs and synchronicities on confirmation that you're on the right path, answers to any questions you have, and anything else you're asking spirit. So really pay attention to signs and synchronicities. So I'm really drawn to the, to the triton that she's holding on that card. So if mermaids is something you connect with, that could be a sign for somebody, the water rocks, drawn to the dark black rock, so black tourmaline, snowflake obsidian, maybe those crystals can help you ground your energy. Let go of worries and doubts. So just know that whatever you're worried about, whatever you're doubting is coming from your ego, let it go, give it to spirit, tune into your intuition and let your intuition guide you you'll feel really good knowing that your intuition is helping you because it will help you honor your beauty. It will help you see yourself for the beautiful being that you are on the inside and the out. And it will also help you release any anger, shame, or guilt that you are holding on. And it will help you release the past if something from the past needs to be released in order for you to move forward. So that is what I have for guidance messages for you. The last section of this reading is going to be possible future energy on what the future may hold for the two of you in love. Now remember, this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen if the two of you do the work, follow the guidance, and make the free will decision to come together. The deck I'll be using is the True North Collective Tarot Project. 
we have the Queen of Wands, let your soul take flight. The One of Swords, stand firm in your beliefs. And the Page of Coins, learn now the skills to succeed. So in the future, the feminine in this connection will be in the Queen of Wands energy. So this is good for a fire sign reading. You will be standing firm in your beliefs and you will now have the skills to succeed. So you will be able to move forward and be more grounded when it comes to your career and life purpose. And when it comes to this connection, the one of coins shows me that you will be open to new adventures with your person. Your person will be coming out of hermit mode in the future because they will have had a tower moment that will help their life fall together and your person will be able to face their shadow side to get rid of this devil energy and get into the four of coins energy where they can let go of what was holding them back from coming to you and they will embark in the three of wands energy to come towards you with this spiritual quest and true north it's your purpose to shine, so you two will shine and come back together. And the Queen of Coins, which is the Queen of Pentacles, you will be able to create an intentional life. You two are meant to come back together in this lifetime. And you both will transform and heal what needs to be healed and forgiven. And you two will be in this Eight of Cups energy where you will be able to sail towards your true fulfillment and your destiny and live happily ever after. I hope that this reading brought you clarity and guidance on what is to come in love for October through December 2020. If it resonated, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section. If it didn't resonate, feel free to check out the other zodiac signs on my channel to see if any of those resonate with you. Sending you love and light.